We have endless debates about the width of the spaghetti. John and Martha Pistacci are on their 54th year of marriage. Their love is sweet. They live in the present moment. Their motto, if not today, when? Like, how can you be with someone that long? But it seems like it's two years ago. It's crazy. Probably the kindest, sweetest man that ever walked the face of the earth. Walking, it would turn out, would become a challenge. Doctors diagnosed John with Parkinson's in 2014. There's no cure. The illness does not shorten how long a patient lives, but it can greatly impact their quality of life. It's a hard thing to, to hear, but at the same time, it's, you know, uh, the doctor assured me that it was a long, you know, long-term disease. So the couple got to work. They looked for ways to combat John's Parkinson's symptoms as the illness progressed. He relies on medicine and therapies, but also devices. He's made a toolbox of sorts so he can punch back at his symptoms. <laughs> For rigidity in his torso and a softer voice, he's Roll. been taking rock two, steady two, two. classes, okay. a national boxing program for Parkinson's patients. You can see uh, the proof of concept because he, he looks great. He's really quick on the mitts. His gait looks great. John's most frustrating symptom, freezing gait. It's common among Parkinson's patients. He describes it as being glued to the floor. Yeah, I was uh, fly fishing and down this trail that I'd gone to you know, a million times. And all of a sudden, I couldn't turn around or get back on the trail. Your mind is telling you, John, this is crazy. I mean, it's just a little log. I mean, you've gone over this log a hundred times. Your mind is telling you, this is so stupid. You can do this. You've done it. And you can't. You're just stuck. So for walking, he uses two different high-tech devices. One is a glider. The saddle-like treadmill allows him to walk with wide steps. One of the Parkinson's symptoms is uh, called small step, where you start shuffling. The seat lifts you up uh, so that you don't, there's no weight on your feet. You're almost just barely touching the mat. And as you walk, it allows you to take really, really long strides. The next one is a mobility aid that attaches to a walker or walking sticks. It's called a neck stride. It uses a green laser and makes a ticking sound. I just concentrate tick tock and each tick tock is another step. Cindy Collin is the startup founder and biomedical engineer behind the tech. She explains the sound and visual activates the part of the brain that is in charge of goal oriented movement instead of the automatic part. If I lift my arm up versus I say, I'm gonna reach for that thing. It's the exact same movement in my arm but it's a totally different part of the brain that's being activated in order to initiate that movement. And that's essentially what we're doing, right? We're tricking the brain. John Pistacci took us to his favorite path to see how his hacks pay off. In front of us was a pedestrian bridge with a steep incline. He started the TikTok sound and took a step. And another, no freezing gait, no short shuffles. It could have been the misty weather or our heavy camera gear, but we had to work to keep up with him. At that point, we realized why he had gotten his nickname, Fast Johnny. Lindsay Thies, Scripps News, San Diego.